My name's Jay Orth. I'm a almond and walnut grower in Hickman, California. I farm about 80 acres. I've got 15 and a half acres of non prel Carmel that have the R5 pop-up. My tree spacing is uh, 18 by 22 with a sprinkler in between every tree in the row. The maintenance problems that I've had to deal with in the past, um, the most major problem was uh, plugging with uh, insect damage basically. Uh, more prevalent after wintering and during the really hot times in the summer. This pop-up design has cut my cut my maintenance time I would say way beyond half. I mean it's it's I can run through 15 and a half acres in 20 minutes and I'm basically looking for any major problems. I have I have no no problems with the pop-ups. Uh, very little yeah, I have not had a lot of problems with the screen. Um, the very few times that I've had to unplug a screen, um, it takes just a couple seconds to unscrew it. The water flushes it out, cleans it, throw it back on, and you're done. Um, the other sprinklers that I've had to deal with, um, you can you can unscrew it. You have to have some type of a tool to push through, blow in it, shake it out, wash it, put it back on, and it still might not work. I've had in the past, uh, the, the largest cost that I have is probably during pruning, um, when you're ripping the brush through the through the through the trees to stack it um, after you've pruned. You know that rips up the sprinklers pretty good, and it'll catch on hoses, it'll catch on the A-frames in between the nozzles, and it it'll it you know it's a detriment there. Uh, the R5 being pretty much self-contained and enclosed, it 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 took out all that the the, the stake. Um, the brush just goes right around it. The, the hose can be buried. There's no, there's really nothing. It's almost like a solid set, but you don't have, you don't have the, uh, the sprinkler head out there catching on anything either. You know, another reason why I like the R5 pop-up, um, I have a, I have a sprinkler at every tree. They're full coverage. Um, I don't have any dry spots in my field. Um, I have, I have a small sub block that I can't flood at all, so when I want a disc or float or you know have the ground packed down good for harvest, um, you know with the full covered sprinkler, I, I'm pretty confident that it'll pack the ground good and I'm, I can get on it. If it gets really hot and I want to schedule an irrigation in the middle of the week um, or my time is you know really valuable, I can. I'm very confident that I can start these sprinklers um, at any time and just just let them go. And if I run through them, I can run through them fast. If I choose not to run through them, if I'm really busy, I'm pretty confident I can flip the switch, turn them on, and they're they're running. I would recommend uh, the R5 pop-up to a friend, and I have I have recommended them. Matter of fact, I've gave out probably half a dozen sprinklers to growers that I know for them to try out, to see if they like. Um, just on the aspect of, of uh, maintenance costs, they're. You know, it's save it's saving us a lot of uh, a lot of time. This this pop up design. It works. So that's what I like about these things. <laughs>